Good morning everyone. It's Tuesday morning and we're going to come together to continue our Lent reading series in the book of John. So this morning we're going to be reading John chapter 5 verse 16 to the end of the chapter. So let's read this together. So the Jewish leaders began harassing Jesus for breaking the Sabbath rules. But Jesus replied, my father is always working and so am I. So the Jewish leaders tried all the harder to find a way to kill him. For he not only broke the Sabbath, he called God his father, thereby making himself equal with God. So Jesus explained, I tell you the truth, the son can do nothing by himself. He does only what he sees the father doing. Whatever the father does, the son does also. For the father loves the son and shows him everything he is doing. In fact, the father will show him how to do even greater works than healing this man. Then you will be truly astonished. For just as the father gives life to those he raises from the dead, so the son gives life to everyone he wants. In addition, the father judges no one. Instead, he gives the son absolute authority to judge. So that everyone will honour the son just as they honour the father. Anyone who does not honour the Son is certainly not honouring the Father who sent him. I tell you the truth, those who listen to my message and believe in God who sent me have eternal life. They will never be condemned for their sins, but they have already passed from death into life. And I assure you that the time is coming, indeed it is here now, when the dead will hear my voice, the voice of the Son of God. And those who listen will live. The Father has life in himself and has granted the same life-giving power to the Son. And he has given him authority to judge everyone because he is the Son of Man. Don't be so surprised. Indeed, the time is coming when all the dead in their graves will hear the voice of God's Son and they will rise again. Those who have done good will rise to experience eternal life. And those who have continued and evil will rise to experience judgment. I can do nothing on my own. I judge as, ju as God tells me. Therefore my judgment is just because I will carry out the will of the one who sent me and not my own will. We'll actually pause there this morning. Amen. And may I ask that God would bless the reading of his word. Jesus in this passage very clearly tells people that he is God's son, that he has come to do marvellous and wonderful things, far more than just healing a man. But he also says that that brings judgment. You know, we, we need to accept him as God's son. And, and if we do, and if we accept what he has done for us, um, and we change our ways, then great. But if we don't, then there is judgment. Well, let me look at something else but she's just given a, a glancing mention just at the start of that passage my father is always working and so am i the pharisees came up with all these rules and regulations about what you were and were not allowed to do on the sabbath god had already given commandments about it but the pharisees were so concerned that they might break it that they made up all these extra rules and they forgot about what it is to to love God and to serve God. About how we should always be looking out for others and helping them. That's what Jesus did when he healed that man. Um, who was at the side of the pool. Who couldn't get in the pool by himself. When Jesus gave him back the power in his legs. He, he helped him. He healed him. But the Pharisees just saw it as working. And the man carrying his mat as work. They didn't see the love. They didn't see the compassion. We need to be careful that we don't become those who judge. That we don't become those who set rules and regulations which hinder people. But rather that we are those who show love and show compassion. And show the love that Jesus had for that man. That can be hard to do at times. Especially if it's somebody who maybe we wouldn't naturally like. Or who wouldn't be classified as a friend. It's easy to help friends but a stranger. But that's what we are called to do. So today let's think about that. 
and how we can help those others. Just as we show them and teach them as well about how God loves them and sent Jesus to be their saviour. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again for this morning. Thank you for your word. Thank you for what it shows us and teaches us. Lord, just help us to show your love, to show your compassion, um, just to, to bring that flavour into this world. And yes, to let people know that Jesus has, is their saviour, that he has died for them, that they can turn from their sins. Lord, help us to do that through the, our actions and through the things that we do day in and day out. May our actions reflect that love and that teaching. So Lord, thank you for this day. And please keep us safe, guide us and direct us and bless us, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Good to have you online. Um, I do trust that it is a, a good day for you, that it's a blessed day. Um, and that you, whatever you're up to today, again, as always, that you stay safe and look out for one another. So take care. See you again tomorrow. Bye for now.